a heavenly fragrance evoking happiness, sunny days, and positivity. I mean, I have to agree, that's exactly what it is. I feel like it used to be a lot more popular 10 years ago. What do you guys think? And then now it's just kind of like taking a back seat. And now I'm kind of discovering why. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Charlotte. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you're new, I do a lot of, oh, I, lo uh, I love to do a lot of videos on beauty and fragrance and I'm obsessed with both of those things. If that sounds like your thing, definitely subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up. Today, I wanna do a little, what's like, what's the word for like between a review and a first impressions? I don't know because those are my favorite. Anyway, this is Juliet Has a Gun discovery set and uh, I was really excited I got this for I got this at the VIB sale I thought I would wait till the VIB sale to get this yeah I was really excited to have this little discovery set because it has all the perfumes that I have not tried from Juliet has a gun most importantly, it included the very new Pear Ink, which we just talked about in a recent video where I was sharing with you uh, new perfume releases. So this is the, the infamous Pear Ink. I'm gonna start with that one. And I have already tested this one, okay? So I've already tested it on my skin, I've worn it. Oh, great. You guys, I just literally sprayed it on the ground. Wasted a spray on the ground. <laughs> Okay, so apparently you're supposed to like spray it down. Do you guys know about this? You're supposed to like spray it and then go like this with the paper. Hmm. Apparently that's how you're actually supposed to spray a card because when you spray it directly on the paper, it like distorts the scent, I guess, because of how it picks up on the alcohol. And it makes sense to me though, too, it, it does. Like basically this is like the more accurate sort of scent that you will get if you spray it in the air and then wag your paper in it. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna still keep spraying right on paper, but I'm trying this out too, you know. So this is a very sweet, fruity, musky pear. And it's interesting because I have on my arms here, La Belle and La Belle Le Parfum Intense, which are also pear perfumes. And could you get any more of a different pear perfume? I think not. Pear Ink is sweet, light, fruity, juicy, but in a very like pear juice kind of way. Not in a caramelized, thick pear juice kind of way, like La Belle or Le Parfum Intense, <laughs> which if you haven't seen it, I have a comparison video coming out for you. And this is a perfume that I have mixed feelings about because I was expecting something a little bit more special, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know why I was because the notes are very, very straightforward. It's just some musk cetalox, I think, and pear, and embretolide, <laughs> embretolid, which I think is just like a sort of amber note, and it disappears, okay, you guys? And that's where I, I do need to just kind of mention I have a little bit more experience with Juliet Has a Gun now. I have acquired over the past year, maybe three Juliet Has a Guns. And along with all of these samples, I'm really starting to get more of a full impression of the line. And generally speaking, Juliet Has a Gun is a very minimalist sort of vibe to their sense. Not in the sense necessarily that they're minimalist in the same way that like the Seven Virtues are. You know, like the Seven Virtues are like minimalist and that like, they don't want, they want to use like the least amount of ingredients or most natural, not, not minimalist in that sense, but minimalist in the sense that, you know, they're iconic, not a perfume and not a perfume. Superdose is supposed to be basically not a perfume. Well, all of their scents kind of have this airy quality to them that makes them, I think, perfect for people who want to have a very discreet, discreet sort of signature scent to them. But I also think makes, them very um, disappointing for people who want more out of their fragrances, who want something that projects more, that leaves more of a trail, that has a little bit more complexity, a little bit more nuance. I do think that uh, Juliet Has a Gun is not really the house for that. Here I am smelling a bit of La Belle. Like miles away, right? 
I'm gonna try pear ink again on my I was gonna say on my face or my finger <laughs> I don't know why but on my on my hand on my hand terrible spray just like leaked on there not great right which is the other thing I was gonna say which was my friend on YouTube here and fellow YouTube creator Kia from um, yummy 411 she just told me that she recently was going to be receiving a bottle of this so I'm sure she will talk about it and we were just talking about how like it's not the same too though I'm really intrigued to hear what she has to say about it because she's gonna be experiencing it with like the actual bottle with the spray it's just not the same like you get this sort of like a voluminous spray that just goes you know like it's just not the same experience and it doesn't give off the same scent bubble or anything like that comment down below what you think of that but mm, that was a nice one that one was by the way miss charming do you guys know that one Bleachy Rose, it's a Francis Kirk, it's a Francis Kirjan creation too. Keep on track here. Okay, so pear ink, yeah, a little bit disappointing. Fruity, musky, sweet pear, really, really easy spring summer fragrance, absolutely. Would I be disappointed in receiving this? Absolutely not, it's a super easy reach. But would I be disappointed if I'm spending like, I think it's almost like, I think it's like $170 Canadian pre-tax in Canada and pre I say pre-tax because in Canada our taxes are in Quebec 15 percent so taxes like literally change the price of the product right so I know it's over two hundred dollars do you know what I mean I will say that what I like about the pear is that it's a very very fresh pear I like that it's a very fresh juicy pear so it's the opposite of something like La Belle where that has like a condensed overload of sugar over it. It's really syrupy and concentrated. This one is a very bright, young, juicy green pear. It's very nice, very, it's very fun, very whimsical, very, you know, just, yeah, lighthearted. It says a heavenly fragrance evoking happiness, sunny days and positivity. I mean, I have to agree, that's exactly what it is can't complain about that you know it's just not necessarily exactly what I was hoping for but I cannot like it's it's beautiful I, I still think it's beautiful and I will note decent amount of oiliness there um I don't know if I'm gonna go through all these I do just want to mention I just want to mention the ones like what I thought about some of these there's only one here that I have not tried yet that I still need to talk about maybe I should do it now it's musque invisible it's because I need to find a spot that doesn't I don't have any spots that don't have any fragrance. <laughs> I'm gonna try it like the inside of my palm. Okay. Ah, uh, cotton flower. Yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, this is like a clean. Oh, super clean shower, super clean cotton flower for sure. Very beautiful, clean musk. I like that. Remember, these are just first impressions, but I kind of like that. Like for that very clean, musky after shower kind of vibe. Hmm. I do see how some people could find that one um, like cleaner solution or something. It's not to me. I like it. I like that white cotton, the cotton flower. I like that with a bit of jasmine. Very nice, cute, cute. That's how I feel about Juliet has gotten a lot of the scents. They're cute, they're cute, you know what I mean? But it's like, do you want to spend two? Th anyway, I didn't spend that on them because like I said, I buy these at fragrancebuy.ca. So most of my Juliet has guns, I actually got for all of them, definitely under a hundred dollars for full size. But at Sephora or whatever, they'd be like 200 bucks, you know? Okay, so I do want to go through the other ones. There is the Not A Perfume, which is supposed to be a very minimalist, elegant, pure, subtle, woody note with a clean and modern trail, a simple ingredient formula without allergens and ideal to blend with other perfumes. It has a mono ingredient, which is Cetalox. And I do have to say that in here, there is the Not A Perfume and the Not A Perfume Super Dose. And I definitely prefer the Super Dose. So the Not A Perfume has a weird sort of slightly animalic undertone to it that I don't know that I love. 
mixed with the fact that it's so imperceptible it's so subtle that unless you're someone who really you know are not super into perfume in which case you're probably not watching this and in which case you probably only need that one perfume yes I it doesn't do it for me the super dose and I know some people use it to layer and prolong the wear of their scents and I can understand that but in that case then I would go for the super dose and I will say the not a perfume super dose it gives me a little bit of it has the same sort of gasoline musky opening as instant crush so they are using I think a similar sort of ingredient there let me see where it is again so anyway so I think it's like the um, I think I look it's one of the synthetic uh, musk ingredients in there or something that has that undercurrent I think some people are initially bothered by it but I know that that's what gets toned down and sort of diffuses and radiates like warmth. So, so yeah, no, I, I think it's, I think it's better to just get the not a perfume overdose. Let me just see again. I'm going to find another spot and see on my finger. Yeah. Yeah. It has a very, very similar. They're not, they're not the same. That's not what I'm saying. Remember? <laughs> But the uh, one of the notes I detect in here, I detected an instant crush, which I suppose might be like the the musk note. So I do kind of like the not a perfume super dose. So not a perfume is a no. Not a perfume super dose is like maybe musk invisible. Pretty, but I don't know that I need that. I don't know that anyone night needs that. Lady Vengeance. I tried. It's just rose patchouli and vanilla. This was very like standard rose patchouli to me and I don't love those kinds of scents. It's just, it's the kind of scent that like if I have one or two in my collection, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need, I don't need lots of variations of that. And so I'm not particularly interested in Lady Vengeance. Lipstick Fever has that violet raspberry iris powdery sort of accord very nice definitely literally smells like a lipstick you guys it smells like a lipstick it smells like a lipstick mmm you guys know I love I already have that one delicious powdery neroli raspberry with caramel musk base and and I think my favorite out of this whole bunch that I smelled was vanilla vibes I really really liked it you guys vanilla vibes I was like I thought you know vanilla vibes uh, gave me very sort of salty beachy slightly sunscreeny vibes and again in that very toned down way that Juliet has a gun keeps doing I want to know actually there's another fragrance that I have that I think has a sort of the same kind of idea as not not a perfume but I think I would recommend this one over it like the regular not a perfume I think I never hear about this one but this one's kind of interesting this is anyway and this really is one of those not a perfume perfumes and it really is kind of like the name it's like anyway I wanted to smell a little bit like something like a little bit of like skin that was a little bit brighter and interesting but also not at all like a perfume so I don't know I never hear about this one this is not exactly what I thought it would be but it's interesting and it's definitely in that kind of molecular genre of not a perfume anyway let me know i would really like to hear some more thoughts on this one if you've tried it or if you've heard of it or anything like that so that was my first impression for you today i hope that you enjoyed that please let me know what your thoughts are on the whole juliette has a gun line in general i'd love to know your thoughts down below i feel like it used to be a lot more popular like 10 years ago what do you guys think and then now it's just kind of like taking a back seat and now I'm kind of discovering why. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I feel like that's what's happening. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I would love to see you over there too. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Until we see each other again, please take care of yourself and we'll see each other very soon. Bye.